Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Don't you wish there were 13 months in the year instead of 12? Yeah, so do I. SpongeBob Season 13 is set to come out in October 2020, so I thought this would be a good time to discuss what I want to see from the next season of SpongeBob. But before we start, I just want to say that this won't affect how I feel about the season or the series. I just think these ideas could improve the season for the fandom. My biggest wish is that the season will stick with the traditional 2D animation the series is known for. Don't get me wrong, the CGI from the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run is great, but that's a movie. I feel it makes sense to present something like that in a bigger fashion. It's also a part of the main show, not a part of any spin-offs. Of course, there has been CGI in the core series. For example, in episode 115, The Sponge Who Could Fly, the street Spongebob is on during the walk cycles is in CGI. Also, in episode 455, Karen's Virus, when Spongebob goes inside Karen to rid her of her virus, the inside of Karen is all in CGI, with the characters still 2D animated. There is also the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water, where the characters are CGI animated when on the surface, but same thing, movie. Those are just a few samples of CGI in Spongebob, but not all of them. Also, Spongebob has delved into stop motion animation before. Episode 335, It's a Spongebob Christmas, and Episode 420, The Legend of Bukini Bottom, are done in stop-motion animation. However, these are holiday specials. It's a Spongebob Christmas was created to be a flashback to classic Christmas specials like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and this episode got positive reception due to its story, comedy, songs, and most importantly, its presentation. It worked out so well they did it again five years later by making a stop motion Halloween special which got positive reception for the exact same reasons. However, those are 22 minute episodes which are always treated as bigger episodes than 11 minute episodes usually are. So while different animation can work for a one or two time thing, a whole 11 minute episode animated entirely in CGI may not make regular fans happy. However, I think this wish is a safe bet because looking at this page for the season 13 premiere, we can see it was supposed to be a part of season 12, which still features the traditional 2D animation, but this was pushed back for some reason. Because of this, I think the season will be 2D animated. I've seen a fair amount of people say that the extremely cartoony facial expressions of the post-movie post-sequel era are used too often. While I don't have a problem with them, I do agree that they are used a bit too much and I would like to see them toned down a bit. Make room for more wordplay rapid fire jokes that the pre-movie pre-sequel era is known for. The exaggerated facial expressions aren't bad by any means, but they're used so often these days. I think maybe just two, maybe three at the max, over the top faces per episode and focus more on the types of jokes that seasons 1, 2, and 3 are so well known for and that could make season 13 miles better. This term gets thrown around in any way possible these days. Ever since season 6, this type of episode is almost every Spongebob fan's worst nightmare and these days people still bring it up especially after episode 442, Ink Lemonade, which focuses on just that. And after that, people bring this up when it is completely unnecessary. Whether it's an episode where he appears one time and something bad happens to him in that one time, or he is the victim of a few slapstick gags, I've seen people claim the episodes are Squidward torture when they really aren't. Of course, I believe no matter how bad this might actually be in an episode, it could always be worse. So this could go either way. Either the crew hears this and makes Squidward focused episodes similar to episode 23, Squidward the Unfriendly Ghost, where he does bad things and deserves punishments, or episode 70, Band Geeks, where things might not go well at first, but work out for him in the end. Or the fans realize that the above I just talked about is not Squidward torture and shut the f*** up. I don't have much to say about this point because I'm a firm believer that any concept can work for a Spongebob episode, but it all depends on the execution. The crew has really been thinking outside the box lately with story ideas, whether it's taking old ideas that have already been done and remaking them in a way that makes them feel fresh and new, or digging deep enough to find new ideas that haven't been done yet, I continue to be surprised and impressed with the ideas they come up with, so I don't have anything more to say. 
If you were watching Spongebob Season 12 from 2019 to 2020, then you probably thought it was irritating when Nickelodeon premiered Episode 507, Escape from Beneath Glove World from the end of the season, before Episode 467, Pineapple RV, from the beginning of the season. Something that's also irritating is that Season 13 is premiering when there are about 12 episodes left to air from Season 12. Yeah, I'm pissed. Still excited though! So I hope that the episodes from Season 13 will premiere in a much more organized manner and won't skip around completely randomly. Let me explain what I mean. Season 13 is planned to have production episodes 268 to 280. The first episodes that are planned to premiere this season are 268A and 268B. I always love when the first episode to air is the first episode produced and when the final episode to air is the final episode produced. After they premiere these two episodes, if the next episode they premiere in season 13 is not 269A, as in the next episode in line, I'd prefer if they air something like 269B or 270A, which are close to 269A, but not something like 274A, which is halfway through the season. Simple as that. Bottom line, I hope that the Season 13 episodes will air more organized, especially compared to Season 12's episodes. Also, side note, since Season 12 still has a lot of episodes left, I hope that after these two episodes from Season 13 premiere, I hope Nickelodeon and Brian Robbins, or whoever's in charge of airing new Spongebob episodes, will air, at the very least, most of the rest of Season 12 before really getting into Season 13. This doesn't have anything to do with the quality of the season, so I thought I'd just throw this in there for fun. After season 10 finished by premiering episode 404, The Incredible Shrinking Sponge, on December 2nd, 2017, waiting until July 26, 2019 for the announcement of the season 10 DVD was hell. After the announcement, the DVD finally came out on October 15, 2019. I was getting ants here every day waiting for it. Season 11 finished on November 25th, 2018 with episode 453, Goons on the Moon, while I was waiting for the season 10 DVD. Thankfully, season 11 was announced for DVD on January 24th, 2020, three months and nine days after season 10 was released on DVD. The season 11 DVD came out on March 31st, 2020, which was much sooner than I expected. This applies to season 12 as well as season 13 and any and all future seasons, and the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run, but I hope that whenever a season has aired all its episodes, I hope its DVD will come out relatively soon after it's finished, and I won't have to wait an eternity and a half for it. Because after what happened with the season 10 DVD, I will never not fear a slight sense of dread when waiting for a future season DVD release. And that is my Spongebob season 13 wish list. Of course, I'll still love the season, but those are just some ways that I think the season could be better for other fans. Of course, if there's anything you want to see from the season in the future, let me know. And while you do that, I'm going to go to Nicktoons Animation Studio to give my Spongebob Season 13 wish list to the writing staff. I'll just use Apple Maps on my phone to make sure I get there without ending up at a wrong destination. One road trip later. Well, I think I ended up at the wrong destination. Oh, here's the problem. I typed in Nicktoons Animation Studios, California, and I got autocorrected to Junietta River, Pennsylvania. Do not know how I missed that. Well, that was a waste of time.